Hi everybody, welcome to a Wednesday um, impromptu edition of Monkey Island Madness. And I'm just jumping on here for a little while. Um, I got a couple of boxes in the mail. And they've got to be happy mail because I don't have anything out for order. I mean, I, for delivery. So, hi Allie. Um, this is taped live over at Ustream TV. And um, I am talking to a live audience. So, um, <clears throat> I'm so excited you are here. So everybody, make Sung Hae feel welcome, and um, I'm going to ask you to do that for any new viewer who comes in here. I want everybody to feel like they're part of our group, and they're welcome, and I like meeting new people. Um, okay, I'm not going to be a mule. You bought Daniel Smith paint instead. Well, there you go. Probably you're better off with the Daniel Smiths, frankly. Um, Okay, and then quickly, Ange asked me to mention her ATC swap. Ange, I don't know what the theme is. Um, but Ange is going to host an ATC swap, which I'm not going to participate in because I've got the whole um, Australia trip coming. So um, she asked me to mention that she is hosting a swap. And um, if you want to participate, you can email her at gingella, and I'll spell that for you. It's G-I-N-J-E-L-A-1 at gmail.com. So, um, yeah, if you want, spring is the theme. So if you want to participate in an ATC swap, and if you don't know what an ATC swap is, here's one of my entries. It's still laying here for months. Um, it's a, a two and a half by three and a half inch card. The theme is spring and I'm assuming any medium is acceptable so it just has to be two and a half by three and a half and um, if you email and she will give you the specifics about how many you have to make um, and where you're gonna mail them to so um, yeah the only thing you have to do at this point is email and at gingella g-i-n-j-e-l-a-1 at gmail.com so and she said any medium is fine um, ATC swaps are a ton of fun you guys they really are and don't ever feel especially with this group like oh I'm not good enough um, we have every level of artist in our group and we encourage everybody to participate so you don't have to you know any level person can join in these things and the stuff you get back I could pull out some of my ATC books and show you um, you get every kind of art back every medium it, it's just so much fun. Um, they're fun to make, and when you get your um, your mail back, you will be so in love with yourself for having joined. I promise you. So, um, so yeah, don't hesitate to join in with us. There's so much fun, and you'll get all the specifics from Ange. So just email her. Um, so I guess since I'm not doing anything else right now, I'll go ahead and open the first box. It's kind of small. Well, I think everything's relative. So, um, opening my first box. Good, Emily. I'm glad you're gonna join. All right. Oh, wow. I got the new Bella Futura coloring book. Gosh, I'm not out far enough yet, am I? Um, I saw this at Dee Dee's. Um, let me see. There's some tags in here, so let me look at them. Got to put my glasses on. A gift for you. Hi, Janet. I love you, Koo. Aw, this is for my niece. Kooey, who was at my stream the other day. This is from Cuckoo. Aw, Kooey, thank you so much. I'll, I'll email you or tweet you. Not tweet you. I'll text you here in a few minutes. Um, 
I don't, as a rule, color on my streams, but I may have to change that. Yeah. So I'm going to do a quick flip of it because I missed the flip at Dee Dee's. I want this book too, The Secrets of Coloring. That's been in my Amazon or on my wish list forever. So I will be probably having to order that soon. And the, um, the, art, the artist on this is Jennifer Zimmerman if you're not familiar with this. Yeah, that's really nice a little cuckoo, isn't it? You get a color organizer back here. There's the girl who's on the cover. And it seems to me like Dee Dee said there's two of each. Okay, it is. Um, <clears throat> I do remember that from Dee Dee's. That each, art, each piece of art is in here twice. One against a white background and then against the black background. So I'll just flip through the black background ones. Just know that you get two of each piece of art. And somebody asked me the other day about um, coloring skin or shading skin or something. If you want that kind of instruction or to watch it happen, go watch Dee Dee Willingham. Um, Her screen name is Inkwell, almost every place, and she does the most amazing skin ever. But she's a portrait artist, so that stands to reason, right? But on, on YouTube, I'm almost sure she's Inkwell, but just search Dee Dee Willingham, you'll find her. Oh my gosh, look at the kitty cat and the hair. Oh, this is going to be a stretch for me, you guys. Oh, I like that oriental face, too. And what this is, is let me see it. It's a coloring book of beauties and beasts of the future. That looks like Katy Perry. Ooh, this one's going to be fun. This, If I'm going to color one, this would be the first one I'll pick, is the crazy bird. Love that. I love the artwork in color books, but I don't color a lot, but I do love the artwork. She looks distressed. Well, if I was holding on to fire, I'd be distressed too, I guess. The girl with the dragon tattoo! If you guys didn't read those books, the girl with the dragon tattoo, the girl who kicked the hornet's nest, the girl who played with fire, I really enjoyed those books. Dee Dee did this page. She's in the process of doing this double page spread right now. She did this girl, um, dark skinned and metallic on her arms. And honestly, it is so worth watching. Go watch Dee Dee do this page. I will never ever color this page because I could never even come close to what Dee Dee did. Now this one, I don't know why they're... Well, now these are double... Oh no, okay. The backs of these are um, blank. So that's kind of cool. That's why there's two blank pages in here. So if you wanted to use alcohol markers, that would work. Hi Linda. Um, hi Josie. Yeah, Dee Dee's pages on these are really awesome. I agree. Hi Teresa. So this is a gift from my um, niece, Kui. I call her Kui. Her, the name that that comes off of is Kuista. Oh, that one's precious. I like this one too. Dee Dee will do amazing on this. I might attempt this. I like doing um, animal fur and stuff like that. Textures, I love doing textures. So she's beautiful. Oh, this is cool. This almost looked like conjoined twins. Oh, and a baby deer. This one's kind of cool. The girl has frogs. Like those sucker frogs. That's kind of cool. Ooh, I like this bird too. So yeah, I'm not sure. Hi, cat. 
which one I'll start with. It will definitely be a bird rather than a person. I'll do a person behind the scenes and if it comes out good then I'll show you guys. This girl is beautiful with the um, dragonflies. And then this one is on the cover again. And whoever's coloring this one is amazing as well. So thank you Cuckoo. I love you. Yeah, the frog page, that's cool. And the hummingbird page. Yeah, these are way cool. And the um, bald eagle. So yeah, this is way cool. Way, way, way cool. So Koo, you're a sweetheart. Hi, Miss Aromatica. Oh, the only thing you missed, and you probably saw it at Dee Dee's, was I had opened the Bella Futura coloring book. It was a gift from my niece. So, um, yeah. Let me put this down here and straighten my camera, because that's very annoying to me. Okay, and then I've got another box. Now, the big box, I had to go ahead. I knew there was a box inside a box, so I opened the big box first but I have not opened the inside box and it doesn't say what it is. So, um, yep, let me open this one. And it's heavy. I mean, this is, this is the size of the, oh, it's, it's a pretty big box and it's heavy. So, here we go. Let me see how it opens. Okay, looks like a little fold-out thing. Okay. I think I can get in it now. Oh my God, I do not believe this. Oh my God, I am not believing this, you guys. Holy cow. Look at this. A huge set of the chameleon markers. How many? 52 are in here. You guys, this is amazing. <gasps> Let me see if there's, there's papers in here. So, oh my gosh. This is insane. <clears throat> a gift for you. Hi, Janet, because you have the kindest heart and you're a girl who likes to play from Sandra. We know her as Scooby. So I, I figured this one was Scooby. Oh my gosh, Scooby, I don't even know what to say. This is the most unbelievable thing ever. I can't believe this. And I did mention once on stream that I wish the Hobby Lobby had had, my Hobby Lobby had had some of these because I really did want to try them. Because I've seen about them, but I don't know anything about them. So if any of you know about chameleons, um, yeah, get ready to tell me. I'm going to open the, and the box and everything is so well done. It's just beautiful. Oh my gosh, Scooby, what are you thinking? This is incredible. And it's a Red Dot Design Award winner, so I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's the packaging or what. Yep, my well-deserved lucky day. I don't know. How, are you, how do you even get in this crazy thing? I don't want to cut it, you guys. I guess I'm going to have to. It's too pretty to cut. All right, I'll cut it on the bottom. All right, it's just taped on. Wow, I am flabbergasted. I don't even know what to say. I'm so, I know, and that's how I am. My mouth is on the floor. I'm not even believing this. All right, I got the wrapper cover almost off.
and they come in like this most amazing cool box now if I'm we'll see if I'm smart enough to be able to figure out how to get into them oh my gosh the the top slides off oh and they have it smells good <laughs> you have three sets okay cool Norma thank you look at this OMG and it's this one says accessories inside so we have to look at what accessories are inside here they smell good I have to say that you have three sets of these Norma thank you kitty hi by the way yeah I know like this is so unbelievable alright OMG what it comes with tools oh my I have I know have no idea what I'm gonna be doing Oh, okay, they give you um, fresh nibs, so you can replace the nibs, I guess, if you crush them. Well, that's a cool thing. That is a way cool thing. And that must be, this must be your grabber to get them in and out. Don't sniff too hard, there's still alcohol. Yeah, no, I don't, they don't smell like alcohol, they just smell like, um, maybe it's like new car smell or something. Yeah, you use it to change the nibs. Yeah, I didn't even realize that they had changeable nibs, so that's cool. So they go in this cool little box, which I'll have to repair now, because the accessories inside, let me see, the box has a handle on it, like I'm going to carry it around. Actually, it's so heavy, you almost need that handle to carry it around. Okay, so... Let me see. Okay, and then the top of the box actually flips back. So, um, yeah, it like makes its own little pallet, I guess. Yeah, where it sits up, and I'm I'm not out far enough. Let me see if I can pull you out a little bit further. Yeah, see where it sets up on itself, and then the tape going across. Oh, I was gonna say it has little chameleons on it, but that's the actual pen. All right. Should I get out some marker paper and give them a go? So what's the deal here? Norma, give me a, a heads up about these. Because they have, okay, here in the middle, um... Yeah, I'm going to have to um, read up on these. But there's the little, I mean, and that is a pretty fine nib, you guys. And then there's this on the other side. And then I know that they change colors. I do know that. And that's why they're called chameleons. Um, so I wish I had done some... Um, research on them, but I had no clue these were coming. Yeah, they're lovely as home decor. I agree. Okay, that's for blending. Well, there's a colorless blender right here, too. With the two nibs. And it just sits over here on the side. And then this, I don't know what it is, but it's also smaller. And Oh! A detail nib. Sweet! Yeah, two, there, there's a 6 millimeter and a 4 millimeter detail pen over here on the edge. So, alright, here I have to read chat real quick. That's so convenient. It is, hi Minky. You've used yours so much you can replace three nibs already. Cool. You treasure yours. Toe. 
two type of nibs in the middle is the refill piece. Email me, there is a learning curve a little bit. I will love them. I already love them and I haven't even done anything with them. You'll have unlimited blending color options with this set. Oh my god. Am I going to become like a chameleon expert? Now I'm thinking, oh my god, I've only got a few days before I have to leave for Australia and I'm going to have to leave them here. That's the one thing that's driving me crazy. I'm going to get marker paper out so I can try these. Um, I'm really hating the whole idea of leaving my stuff here. It's probably why I don't like to leave home. I have to leave my stuff at home. Okay, this is Spectrum Noir. Um, marker paper that I got it Tuesday morning. So, um, I think one of the advantages, <clears throat> excuse me, of the marker paper is um, it's nice and smooth so it won't abrade your or wear out your um, felt tip markers. So that's one of the advantages. Oh, and I bought some, somebody else had said, um, the laser copy paper is a good surface too. So let me get a sheet of that. And it's also real, real smooth. I bought the HP laser jet paper. Um, and it's nice because it also comes 24 pound. Now you may have to do that coloring book. I know. It, Darren, isn't it? It's fortuitous that they come on the same day. I know, right? Whew. I just feel so, I'm overwhelmed, you guys. I really am. Now I have to take the tape off. They're almost too pretty to even use, you guys. But just looking at the colors, they have a great color selection. Lots of grays, which is good. That's how I you learn just lots and lots of practice. Yeah, obviously, when I get home, I know what I'm going to be doing. And see, that's another crazy thing. When I get home, I've got some projects that I have planned here around the house that's going to really impede my arting time too. So, uh, too much stuff, not enough time. Thank you, Jeannie. Alright, I guess just because I can, I'm just going to go ahead and swatch a few of them. And the NU3. Alright. I still don't get this end of it. I really don't. So give me just a quick lesson about this end of the pen, you guys. Cause it like there's it looks like a nib down there. Because on this end you just get the two different kind of nibs. I really like that fine tip. Oh man. I'll pull you down now because so you can maybe see a little bit. Yeah, I just need to live another hundred years, no lie. Yeah, I don't understand what this end of the pen is for. You just need to live. Turn the pen end over. Turn the pen end over. Okay. I'm not following Bumble. Help me here. Turn the pen end over. I'm going to have to do some... Okay, Limo's talking now. That's where the alcohol goes. You touch that end to the other one to get the gradients. Take the second part out to expose the middle. Alright. Take the second part out to expose the middle. 
this. Alright, I'm not understanding this. I mean, I see down there. In the middle, it seems hard to explain. Alright, you're saying take this part out? Is this what you're talking about, Norma? If you're watching this and you're a chameleon expert, just forgive me. Um, that's where the alcohol goes. You touch that end to the other one to get the gradients. You touch that end to the other one. <laughs> I feel really stupid right now and they don't have any instructions here. Put the pen end to the tube bit. Okay. Put the pen end to the tube. Okay. Like this. Okay. I see what you're saying. So put this in here and it's going to change this nib. I don't see any change. Touch the tips together. Okay, I did. And I can see there's a little bit of brown on that. <clears throat> yeah, because this is NU4. All right. I'm not sure what I'm waiting to see happen. I'm going to have to go watch videos obviously I don't have time today or tomorrow either okay I get that now so this is what you use and you're not going to contaminate hold it a bit longer touch the clear tip to the colored tip got that okay so you have to hold it for a while okay I can see it. Can you, oops, sorry, I'm not on here. Can you guys see? I'll just show you. Can you see the color moving? It was clear. It takes several seconds. Hold it straight, not to the side. Okay, I see. All right, watching it, watching it, watching it. You need to hold it longer. Okay. All right, let's have some coffee. Yeah, well, it snaps together, so you don't even really have to hold it. I just don't understand what I'm going to end up getting here at the end, and I'm holding it upright. I am holding it vertically now, Nina. Have the clear one on top of the colored one. Okay, that's something I was doing wrong. I was holding it upside down. Upright, clear one on top. Got it. Got it, got it. All right. So I can see the color moving. Now your color tip will be very light. And as you go, the color will get darker and darker. Clear needs to be on top. Got it. Okay. You think that's long enough now? Let's give it a go. I don't see a whole lot of different. <laughs> All right. I'll just leave that one aside um, and try and stand it up here. I'll have to put it in there to stand it up right. All right. We'll go on to another one. I'll pick a really pretty color. As you shade side to side, the color draws out. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be watching some... Um, videos today if I can find some dang time alright so here we go brand new marker this is the deep violet color I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there and stand it up hold it up and see what happens hi Susan Ribbons I know, Kimberly, where is Eileen? She could be yelling at me right now. You never listen. 
<laughs> yes, clear on top. Alcohol goes down into the color nib, and it's very light. And as you start to color, it gets darker as you draw. Gives you shading without having to change pens all the time, like an ombre effect as you color. Thank you, you guys. Okay, I'll see it better if I do one continuous line. Okay, I don't know how long you have to leave it. They're saying leave it for a while. Gives you shading. Yep. All right, more coffee. And the brown one is still doing this. All right, I'm going to try the purple one real quick. I'll do a continuous line. Okay, it started out very light. Can you see that? Still drawing, still drawing. Of course, I don't know what this color was to start with to know. Okay, I can see the difference now. It is getting darker and darker and darker. Okay, I see what you guys are saying. And as I get down, okay, I get it. Cool. Way cool. And then I'll do, let's see, I'll put this back. Will it ultimately get that dark? Because this is the other end of the pen. Oh my gosh. Really, that's the other end of the pen. Okay, I'm just going to color a little bit here. Well, it's still having the effect. So these crazy markers, well, I guess they're going to run out of alcohol at some point. Now, too much clear touching nib. Color like a leaf shape. Okay, I'll get a green one out. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven different green colors. All right. I'll do the green, and then I'll go ahead and take the brown out. Because now I get it. I get what you're saying, and the clear has to be on top. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, and all the brown that was in this alcohol marker has um, has removed itself. So I'll do the brown up here. Oh, yeah, like right now there's like no color at all. It may take forever for the color to come back here because I left this one so long. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just let this one alone. I'll just lay it here. I hope I didn't break one already. The alcohol can be refilled. Forever the perfectionist a purple leaf would have done. I know, I know. You guys can make fun of me all you want. Because that's the way I am. And I know um, Paula wants to stream, which will make me happy. I'll have to find something. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and draw a line. Touch the clear part in the middle. and then color. Okay. Okay, right now it's not, there's no color at all. So I might have left it too long, so I'm just going to have to wait and see. Um, what the perfect length of time is, but I'm starting to get color now. So, oh, and this might be going through, so I don't want it on my other paper. Should I have a scrap somewhere? I should have a scrap. Here, I can use this. They can be refilled with alcohol and color and nibs. Wow, that's awesome. So these are like forever tools. That is way awesome. You're going to see how bad a color I am. Okay, but I am seeing color now, so that's cool.
And see, I've never used alcohol markers much, so um, yeah, this is going to be a real le learning curve for me. And this color is called Evergreen. Okay, I'm going to see what color the actual Evergreen... Oh, there's a lot more of the dark color to come. And I know if you use the colorless blender, it almost acts like an eraser. I see what you guys are saying now. Oh my gosh, what a learning curve I got going on here. These are awesome. Awesome, Scooby! Alright, so now, if I want to go to that light to dark, um, because I want to try this too. This is the colorless blender. Um, get a yellow out here to blend it all together yeah cool this is an amazing gift Scooby I thank you is not even adequate really it's amazing. I mean, unbelievable that you would do this. So thank you. I can't. I'm just overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. But look how much darker it is. Like, this is going to be fun. I think in the evenings I'm going to be coloring on the couch now. For real. Okay, I'm going to put it back in its little juice thing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, Limo. I'm going to go ahead and load with the clear and then go ahead and, and blend it all out. Retouch the green nibs with the clear middle alcohol part and start with the lighter green again. Okay, got it. Norma, you're going to have to like take a day off work and come over and play at my house. <laughs> or we'll meet halfway. Maybe we could meet... I'm not sure where we could meet. It's only three hours over to Branson for me. Um, which means it's only three hours for her over here. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. So you just got to kind of pay attention and then when you need to go lighter put your thing back on for a minute. And if I was proficient at alcohol markers at all to begin with it would help, right? Because to go from colored pencil to alcohol markers is quite a transition. And that's really where I've spent most of my time. So I'll go ahead and lighten it up again. Go lighter first. Okay. We can meet up in Joplin when I get back from um, Australia. Yeah, we should definitely be doing that. Because um, Joplin is a nothing drive for me. I'm going there tomorrow, in fact. For the rat's birthday, I'm going to take him to dinner. And I had mentioned the other day that we were going to go see his friend. Um, it's too late. 
we can't go see his friend. So I feel bad about that, but yep. Okay, I can see where this could be a ton of fun. Ton of fun. Now if I could smooth that middle out a little bit. Alright, I put it back on the little charger. Yeah, when I get back from Oz, for sure. For sure, for sure. This is way, way, way cool. And I, okay, um, I just bought yesterday some, um, well, day before actually, um, some 91 proof <clears throat> alcohol. Is that what you refill it with, or do you need denatured or a special kind? Um, my cheap alcohol markers, which I have no clue how much these cost you guys. I know that they were more than I wanted to spend. Um, and this is hard for you guys to see, but the blend is getting better and better. Um, yeah, he felt bad this morning when he came and told me, but I don't know. I guess I have an unusual belief about death, and um, and I'm actually... Okay, you have to use the denatured. Okay, I'll go get some of that. Um, you can get that at hardware stores, I know. So I will, um, I will put that on my list right now. And I'll get that tomorrow when I go to Joplin. And I am going to go to a couple of the craft stores. Don't know if I'll go to Tuesday morning. We'll see how much time we've got. But I'm going to buy Robert his steak dinner for him. So, okay, I can get the denatured alcohol, but I, I did get the 91 proof yesterday. All right. I had this on the... Okay, so it's real light right now, so... I am so excited about these. I can't even tell you. Oh my gosh. And I've got so much to do. This is why I can't plan trips and stuff. I'm so undisciplined. Now I'll make that middle darker. Okay. The green's starting to come now. So... I think these have given me a hot flash, you guys. I will tell him happy birthday from all of you. Um, chances are he doesn't even remember that he's got a birthday. Other than I told him we're going out for your birthday. But I'll bet you since I said that, he's not given it a single thought. He, it, it doesn't matter to him. And, and I'm kind of the same way. I mean, I... I tease and act like I make a big deal out of my birthday. Honestly, neither one of us care because we're, you don't wait for your birthday to get the things you want. If you want something, get it now. You know, a birthday for the most part is just another day. Um, and he's impossible to buy for. Honestly, he is absolutely impossible to buy for. And I probably am too because, um, you, honestly, both of us, if there's something we want, we just buy it. You know, if the budget allows. All right, have to juice it up again. It's too dark. Okay, and I don't think, let me see if a light will help. It's not probably as dark as it looks to you guys. I know, two and a half weeks and we'll be hugging. <sighs> I can hardly wait. It, it still almost feels like a dream, you guys. It doesn't even feel real that, um, that this is really happening. 
And I Z has some news tonight that you guys are not going to believe. I'm not going to um, spill the beans for her. Um, but yeah, D Z has some amazing news. Sorry I'm off camera. I'm going to go ahead and put the yellow on because that's what makes me think of a leaf is that yellow kind of in the center here. Yeah, I have definitely a, a learning curve. Denatured alcohol is ethanol to which something has been added to make it taste nasty. Okay, thank you, Dorothy. But I promise these are the best you'll ever have. Oh, I'm so excited. I really am. I mean, I just feel like, holy cow, I, I can't even believe it. I really can't. All right, I'm going to juice this again real quick. Yeah, I like yellow on leaves, and I turn the light on thinking it might help. I may end up having to get one of those ring lights like um, Dee Dee had, but at one time, oh, and I still have it, I have a Ot light um, that makes more natural light so that, um, you know, I can use it with the, the camera and not have to deal with that whole fluorescent shift. Um, but the glare and everything was so bad that I ended up just saying, never mind. Um, the lighting is a never-ending issue. And I sit here right by a window um, because I like the daylight. You know, I, I'd rather color and draw in daylight than... Um, Than artificial light, right? And it's more real and everything, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I've got a learning curve. But yeah, the light for the camera, that is a whole nother deal. I pretty much learned how to use them. Yeah, I'm, I, there's a definite curve here um, and how to get it real smooth for real. Um, I'm looking at the different colors of green that you've got. And I probably did start out with too dark a green that I could have done a, um, a lighter shade of green. So, And I'm sure it's working in combination with all your different colors. Um, you know, that you get really proficient at it, which may take me a while. Because here I've got a, a spring meadow green that would make part of this a lot easier and I do know that that I could have used more shades of green rather than trying to do the whole thing with just that one green alright I'm gonna get my chores done today like right now pronto I am jumping on the chore wagon so that I can play for real. For real, for real. All right, now I actually did use the very darkest green that I had, so let me see, I'll go ahead with, with the darker gray and try and do the real dark. Give it a little bit more definition. That helps me. I'm not sure it helps you guys. I am so excited. Okay, here's grass green. We'll add grass green to it. So anyway, Paula is, I think, going to plan on streaming today. She's on vacation, which, yay, Paula. Um, 
And if Paula streams and I can make it there, I, I really do have some stuff I've got to get done today. Um, yeah, and if there's time later and I get a chance to play, I will definitely um, make you guys aware that I'm going to come back on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and juice this one up with its little alcohol end. Read and chat real quick. Is Paula here? Yeah, I don't know. Paula just said that she wanted to um, stream today. And okay, hi Paula. You've decided to stream at three Eastern, which is two o'clock my time. Okay. I've got a couple hours that I can get some stuff done. Um, that should be good enough. And if I can't get it done, I'm going to make Robert do it. Not really. Yeah, these are cool. And I, I can see that I'll get better over time using the different color pens and then adding that element of um, different shades of the same color in the pen but yeah like with this you literally do have an infinite number of colors and um, shades to deal with so that's awesome and you know the Copics you can get almost an infinite number in them as well but you're buying a lot of different colors noon Pacific time Josie you're on the west coast so if it's 10 o'clock there it's two hours from me so yeah I think that would be noon Pacific Josie it's another show and tell stream. Yay, I love show and tell. Hi, CB. Look at you guys. If you came in late, you're not going to believe it. I, I was just coming on to do, um, I'm going to have to let this one set for a minute. I let it set too long, I think. Um, to show some happy mail that I had gotten, um, I had surmised that one of them was Scooby because she had told me that she was going to send... Um, me some happy mail I had no idea what it was so I opened first um, a color book from my niece and she sent me the Bella Futura um, coloring book of beauties and beasts of the future um, I love the feel of this cover oh I love it anyway she sent me that and then Scooby Girl we all know her Dee Dee's a Scooby Girl um, sent me this huge huge 50 what, what did it say? 50 or 52 color set of chameleon alcohol markers. This is honestly one of the most kindest, generous things that anybody's ever done. So, Scooby, I would absolutely kiss you on the lips if you were here. I'm not sure you'd like that, but I would do it anyway. So, I've got a huge learning curve here. Um how to play with them and that's what I've been doing I just colored this leaf and um, Norma has a lot of experience with these I guess so um, yeah so she's kind of been giving me tips about what to do because I started with like the darker darkest color first which duh but I did so the rest are impromptu. I know, CB, I am. I'm so lucky, and, and you fibs are so kind and so generous. The rest are impromptu. will tweet if she is coming on. Yeah. Um, I generally um, come on when these monkeys trick or head me, um, but my regularly scheduled time is Monday at noon. Well, 1 Eastern. Um, and I went back to the real dark one to do this center again. That's my normal time. 
and then impromptus whenever nobody else is on or yeah when they trick or head me um, CB have you checked your email and I'm way far away I'm sorry you guys but it looks better um, in my house than it does on the camera so you can see now that I'm getting some gradient of color I'm not very good at this but I hope to be proficient someday and I will swatch all of these um, oh go check your email CB I was gonna call you as soon as I got off here again I mean I know we've already talked this morning but I was gonna call you again um, cuz yeah you need to go check your email from Z W1 from Xander there And I'm not sure going over and over this is, is changing or helping anything. I'm just trying to make it a little bit smoother. Let me try the alcohol blender. I do love that detail pen, too. That, I think, is a brilliant idea. Swatch party. Yep, swatch party. This is an unbelievable gift. I mean, I'm... I am bold over you guys, absolutely bold over. And I don't know where Eileen is today. She needs to get her little butt over here. I, she may have had a doctor's appointment, who knows, I don't know. Now one thing I have to say on the um, Hoo Hoo Hero or the Oh, hoo hoo ones. Um, when you use a colorless blender with them, it really does act like an eraser. Um, it it will lift the color right up. I don't notice that this one is doing that. So I think I'm going to use the detail pen, and I'll go ahead and do another leaf, and we'll um, We'll start with the lighter colors and see if we do any better this time. And I always draw philodendron leaves. I don't know why. They're very comforting to me, I guess. She's out chasing the cabana boys, probably. Probably, all right, I'm going to start with the Spring Meadow again. I think this is the one that I left on the thing too long, So, but I don't know if that goes away. All right, we're going to start with the lightest color first. Let me try this other nib. I'm kind of afraid of this nib, though, because I think I'm going to crush it. Oh, that, oops, I forgot to... <gasps> I forgot to do the end. So many things to remember. So she said two o'clock. All right. I'll stay on for a few more minutes, but then I got to go get my stuff done so I can come watch Paula. Because I want to watch Paula. You can see the color leaving the tip of the nib. Can you see that? I don't know how to make that clear to you guys. Um. Can you see the color has left the end of that nib? It's cool. Blue, it happens here as well. Oh, yay, Carrie Ann. Okay, so you're going to be at Jen's when we're there. Okay, cool. Because I'd just written you saying, you know, what, what day would be good. So you're coming to Newcastle to hang with us. Awesome. And I don't know how often you, you should, um, of course that's part of the learning curve, right, is hook it up to the alcohol to change the, um,
the shade of the green that you're using. It, this is amazing. It is truly amazing, you guys. This is so cool. So cool. So cool. Has CB come back and said anything? Why? I don't know. Paula, I should be swatching him. I'm going to save the swatching for later, Paula. Something to look forward to. I really was just coming on, quite frankly, to um, to open it because I do have some stuff I really got to get done. And then Robert and I made plans this morning to do some stuff this weekend that I probably shouldn't have done. But, yeah, it's seeing friends that I just feel like we need to go. So, You do anyway because you can, exactly, Limo, you can add more color, but it's impossible to take it off anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds, depending on how large an area and what effect you want. Okay, thank you, Nina. See, I mean, it's so nice to have you guys for an audience that you know what you're doing. It's so awesome. Awesome, awesome. I want to see what CB says. Well, and I'm sure too, see, Paula, that's the thing about getting new products. You know this more than anybody, is that it's not only the product itself that has so many variables, but now you've got the paper that could be a variable. I mean, there's so many things that you, um, that are variables that you can change. So it's like, oh my gosh. All right, I'll put this back on for a minute. You're not looking at email right now? Okay. Well, after you check out email, call me on the phone, okay? But I'm excited, Carrie Ann, that you're going to be there with us. I really am. And then I did go ahead and message um, Heather as well and told her to give us an idea of... Um, what times and days are going to work for her. And as far as I know, that's um, the only people we're going to go ahead and meet while we're in Australia is Carrie Ann and, and Heather. And I can't think of any Aussie people other than Jen, of course. Um, about what? Do I need to go look at the email? You're going to be shocked, so go look. Yeah. So you guys can see, oh my god, you're such a bad colorer. I never ever profess to be a colorer. I've always said the only thing I enjoy doing is drawing. But now I'm enjoying coloring. But I'm saving the swatching because swatching is special. Alright, so that was the... Let's see what color sage is before we go on. Oops. Oh, that's a pretty color. The sage is way pretty. But we're going to go to the grass green. It's like you have an unlimited amount of color changing. I know, Norma. It's amazing. The more I learn, the better it gets. So amazing. You will like coloring now. Okay, I'm I'm counting on that. Yeah, there's a very definite learning curve here. I, I will say that. But that's cool. I was going to say, it's not like I have anything better to do. Huh. If you saw my to-do list right now, you'd be going, Girl, you need to put all your toys away. And I'm not even going to do any of my um, yard stuff until I get back. I mean, I'm just, Robert's done the fertilizer, and I'm going to make him do the weed killing here sometime in the next week or so, but I haven't even, that's not even planning on what I need to do outdoors. You know, like the tomatoes and all that stuff, it's just going to have to wait until I get back. Because I have to have tomatoes this year. I did not have homegrown tomatoes last year and I will have homegrown tomatoes this year. 
you are starting to color with the very best, so you'll enjoy coloring. Well, I hope so, Norma. I forget that you have to pay attention and then juice them up. Juice it up. I'm going to definitely find some time, probably this evening, to go watch some really, really proficient chameleon marker lovers. But I don't know, and I, the way I'm thinking, these seem to make a whole lot more sense than even the Copics. And I, I was not going to cave to the Copics. I really was not. I feel like a kindergartner. That's what I feel like right now. I know nothing is better than homegrown tomatoes. I agree. I love homegrown tomatoes. And last year, you know, that I did put tomatoes. Well, I don't think I got them out. I had bought them, but I didn't want to ask the neighbors to have to take care of them while we were in the hospital. So they died while we were in the hospital. And, um, but fortunately the neighbors were kind enough to, um, share theirs with us. So, I did have homegrown tomatoes, but I want my own so I can have, like, tomato sandwiches any day I want. You have some Copics, but not a whole set. And you like these better. Wow. That's saying a lot there, Norma. Because I know, you know, people who use Copics, they are, like, Copic loyal. And I, I can see why. I mean, I've seen people's art. Like, when you get proficient with them, you can do some beautiful art. I know Aaron. Aaron hasn't been around much. Um, but Aaron, I think, is a, a Copic person. And I watch Bailey Day Bailey J use hers, of course. Okay, look at you now I need to change the reservations. I know, I know, Lucky Z. I'm not saying out loud what it is, um, C B. Um because I figure that's her good news to be oh, I left this one on there forever. Um, yeah, that's her good news to be sending out to the fibs. So I haven't said anything about what the news is. So if you want, um, go to Z's stream tonight. Um, Z has some awesome, awesome news. For, well, for CB and I and, and for herself. She's such a lucky girl. But yeah, you will have to change our reservations, um, CB. I was going to call you, but now you know. I don't know where that real dark f came from in there. Probably from going over it 500 times. And I'm glad you um, bought the package that we could make changes, right, CB? Um, oh, okay, Denise just said it in chat, so... It does have to do with Jane Davenport, but I'm not going to spill the beans, so, um, so yeah. Z is going over to the Gold Coast, lucky girl. I'm happy for her, very, very happy for her. But that means we'll be robbed of Z for a few days. But how by then we will have been together, what, 20 over two weeks. We may be so sick of each other that we'll all be drinking. I know CB and I will be. 
Bring on the alcohol. I'm kidding. I don't... I hardly ever drink, you guys. Really. Looks a mess to me. A mess, I'm telling you. Juicing it up. Yeah, I'm happy for her, too. Really happy. Me, too, CB, but you know what? I couldn't be home, away from home that long. Um, I really couldn't. I, I just... I couldn't. 20 days is, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's going to be a test of my endurance as it is. I agree, Kimberly. Z deserves all the happiness that could come her way. I agree. I don't think there is a sweeter person on earth. Do they make huge margaritas in Oz? I would have a margarita. Um, God, that uh, the other night when I had that giant one down at the Mexican restaurant at the end of the street. You guys, I really, really felt that alcohol. I came home and I was like, holy cow. Usually I can have one or two margaritas and it doesn't really bother me. But, oh gosh, that night, oh. And I ate a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> this will be something that I'm going to do alone so I can pay attention. Because, like, right now I can't. Yeah, I haven't been paying enough attention. So, lucky, lucky Z. And I'm not going to go out any further because I'll... Use some darker for that, I think. Oops, don't want to do that. There's the center. God, I hope I don't lose those center parts. I got to keep the cat away when I'm using these because the cat will think those are great big cat toys. What color is this? The, oh, the dark sage. What else we got? Green apple. Let's see what the green apple is like. Mm, that's pretty. We'll use it. Why not? And my brother called yesterday. He's on a cruise. I don't know what cruise line he's on. But oh my god. I think next time him and Amber go on a cruise, I'm going to make Robert go with me. It sounds like they are having just an absolute blast. And my brother is so much fun anyway. But yeah, I want to go with him. Oh, you know what? When I did this leaf, I was going to change papers, you guys. Okay, now I'm going to use the grass green, but I'm going to use the blender. With this nib. So many choices to make. Alright, I'll read. You rarely drink? CB will fix that. I'm, I'm up for that. And leave you the tab. <laughs> Paula started it. <sighs> Which one did they go on? It's They're going down into the um, Caribbean. They left Fort Lauderdale. And their first port of call is um, Aruba. And it just sounds like they are having so much fun. 
So, yeah, I, I told him I'm definitely getting the rat acclimated to the idea of we're going on a cruise. And I'm not really cruise people. And Don said, Don's, um, let me see, let me do my age. Don's, I'm just going to say he's middle 50s. He said, of course, he uses bad words like I do, um, that him and Amber are like the youngest people on the boat. He said, everybody here is like old, <laughs> like ancient. He said, Amber and I are the, the youngest people on the cruise. Um, yeah, I guess don't put him away with the, <laughs> the tip getting lighter, right? But he said, everybody here is old. And he was telling me different stories about these older women. And I was, we were just laughing so hard about it. But yeah, next time I'm going with my brother. And if the rat doesn't want to go, I'm going anyway. I really am. I'm going anyway. And where it looks like that dark line is, I think that's where the ink is still wet. This is going to be a learning curve for sure, for sure. Are you going to check out the chameleon color tops? Okay, Sung Hey, tell me what those are. What else do I need to be researching? <laughs> I may need Paula's help. <laughs> what are we researching now? I don't know what the color tops are. Um, you have to remember, I live on an island. And if I can help it, I don't talk to people. All right, I'm going to put the darker on, and then I'm going to call it a day, and I might come back later if I get all my chores done. But right now, I am just being a bad child. I did, I think I did way better on this leaf than I did on this leaf. So I'm feeling pretty happy with my bad self for just having played with them for, what, an hour? Yeah, I feel like I, I well, and I, I've learned something. So this is Fun, fun, fun. Way fun. Oh, I was going to say, I'm missing one. I'm actually missing two. All right, we're going to use the yellow. Would Robert trust, trust you on a cruise? Oh, yeah. That's the one thing about me. I am the most trustworthy person. Like, he could trust me. Now, the thing he can trust me to be is absolutely crazy, but as far as going out and hitting on hunky guys and stuff like that, yeah, I'm the most trustworthy person. You could put a hundred dollar bill on my table and weeks later it would still be there. I would I, I am a person who feels very strongly about being honest and trustworthy. Um so yeah, he could definitely trust me. Now as far as being crazy and saying crazy things and Behaving crazily, yeah. <clears throat> he could trust me to be the craziest person on the boat. Speak of the devil. Be me. I was um, just telling him about Don and Amber being on that cruise and that I want us to go. And one of the ladies asked, "Could would Robert trust you on a cruise? Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, there, that's a question for you, Robert. Would you trust me? Yes, I would. I know you would, because I am trustworthy. And I would also trust him. Robert Vaughn is as trustworthy or more than I am. I hear you. They're the exact same colors, but come in tubes, so you can 
do blending color to color. Oh, gosh, Sunghei, that sounds crazy, too. Yeah, we will be definitely checking out the hunky guys on the beaches in Australia. And if I didn't, Robert would be terribly disappointed in me. <laughs> I mean, for real. I mean, he knows I'm old, but he also knows I'm not dead. So, and I would be the same with him, you know, like... I'm not a person who has a problem. If he wants girly magazines coming into the house, go for it, bad boy. It's ink on paper. Now, if you bring that skank home, we got a problem. But you bring her picture home in a magazine, not a problem. I'm not threatened by ink on paper. The skank walking in the door, big problem. So everybody's saying, hey, you big fat loser. Oh, and they all were saying happy birthday to earlier. Oh, they did? Yeah. They know oh, it's your birthday month. It. Yep. They said, tell him happy birthday. Tell him happy birthday. Thank so. you, girls. Thank you very much. If you so, can hear me. They can hear you. Okay. So, anyway. Oops. Just spill coffee on my hand. All right. And I'm going to call it a day here because I'm going to go do my chores so that I can get over to um, Paula's because she's got research that she might need help with, you know. All right, honey. All right. Bye now. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to call it a day here now. I might be back later to swatch all these. And in the meantime, go get something productive done so you can go over to Paula's. Paula, if you want to put your link in um, so they can come over to your house. he, she's, She will be on in about, what, an hour and 45 minutes. She's coming on at, I think she said, 3 Eastern. So... Yeah, I'm excited about these. And Scooby, if you've watched this, um, I will make sure that I, I thank you directly. But if you've watched the recording, thank you so, so, so much, Scooby. It um, it was so kind, so generous. I'm overwhelmed with your generosity, so thank you. And then I, I might see you guys later. We'll just we'll see what happens. But go over to Paula's and have tons of fun there. I can hardly wait to see her stuff. So thanks for watching the recording, you guys. Catch you later.